Hi everyone, Kobe from Orphanland here. I'm happy to be here with you tonight. This is uh, my home, just a bit, small part of it, as you can see. And uh, I want to thank you all that you joined me here tonight and I will try to answer most of your questions. I want to uh, tell you that I will make my best to answer all questions. So feel free to ask me anything you want on any subject. Feel at home. Mi casa, su casa. Okay, so let's see. I have here uh, Orfi Reap saying, Kobe, greetings from Lebanon. So, salam alaikum, Orfi Reap. If you want to ask me a question, feel free to send them to me and, and I'll answer to you. Um, Alexander is asking me, when will you be coming back to Mexico? Well, we played in Mexico earlier this year. Uh, we were in uh, Circo Volador in... Uh, in Mexico City in January. It was a great show and I really hope we will come back very soon. It was a great show playing in Mexico. It's always a great pleasure and a very warm, welcoming crowd that was waiting for us in the airport and uh, at the hotel. So I'm sending all my love to the Mexican fans and I hope that we will play there very, very soon. Uh, okay. Um, Becky from Switzerland, a Mexican uh, girl from Switzerland, is asking, uh, when are we going to play in Switzerland? Um, we are working now on a new album, Becky, and uh, I hope that we will release it next year, and then we will have a European tour uh, coming, and probably we will play Switzerland, as, as always. Okay, people here writing that they love Orphan Land, so thank you guys. Okay, always asking what influence you and the rest of the band have. What are your favorite metal bands? Well, I must say that our main influence are our life in Israel, because living in Israel it's a very special adventure. Um, Jewish nation is consisting of so many cultures. Jewish people were like gypsies and they were traveling in Asia, in Europe, in Africa, and in America. So imagine that all these cultures and, and, and uh, mentalities and colors are joined together in one place when Judaism unites us in, in a way. And it, it creates a situation where in terms of food, of colors, of mentalities, of uh, even the way we look, it's a very colorful place, it's a very multicultural place. And that alone is the biggest in, uh, inspiration for us as a band because living here, it's one of the most exciting adventures uh, that you can find in the world. It's never boring and you have so many things going on. and if I look at my, my list of friends, so the first one is from, is a Moroccan Jew, Iraqi Jew, Egyptian Jew, Russian Jew, Polish Jew, Argentinian Jew, Spanish Jew, and so on and so on and so on. And, and that is very interesting. So I would say that the most inspiring thing for me is life itself in Israel. And uh, the second part of the question was, uh, what are the metal bands that uh, influenced us the most? I would say that the first band to influence me was Iron Maiden and Metallica, who are of course the fathers of uh, one of the fathers of uh, the heavy metal music. Iron Maiden was a band that literally changed my life, and uh, I think that uh, later on we started to listen to bands like At the Gates and Death and uh, Sepultura and Dayside and. Uh, more, more of the of the death and brutal death metal, and then in the late 90s we turned it into a doom metal. So we started to follow bands like Paradise Lost, My Dying Bride, uh, Anathema. But once again, I must say we are music lovers. I'm loving. I love good music. If good music comes from Pakistan and it has nothing to do with metal, but it's good music, then I love it. And uh, if it's uh, Arabian music, if it's European music, if it's Gregorian music, 
if it's classical music. For example, I love very much uh, Italian opera. I can listen to an opera of Puccini or, or Verdi and I can have tears in my eyes because music is a great instrument and music is a great tool to um, overcome conflicts and music is the best religion in the world. Okay, I will move on to the next questions. Okay, let's see. Okay. Maha Khalabi from Syria. Ahlan wa sahlan. I have to be official. <laughs> Okay, Maya asking. Uh, Maya, Maya is asking, will you be able to visit Arab countries when you get Turkish passport? Uh, well, for those of you who don't know, uh, Orphanland is very popular in Turkey, and Turkey is a Muslim country, and it's a great country, and it's a great model for a Muslim country. Kemal Ataturk, the the former leader and the one who established the Turkish uh, Republic, he established a great country, and. If I can wish something for countries like Syria or Lebanon or Egypt or, uh, or every country in the Arab region, in the Middle East, I would really wish for them that they would be as open-minded as Turkey. So this is a great country and this is one of the reasons why I hope that we will be uh, civilians and that we will get Turkish citizenship because I really think that Turkey is a great country that can, can help a lot to this region and yeah, if I will get it with a Turkish passport, definitely, I will be I will be able to thank Turkey, and as a Turkish man, I will be able to come to Syria and to Egypt and to Lebanon and to Iran. I will be able to enter Iran and to meet our fans and to play for them and speak to them, and this this will be something amazing for me as a musician, for us as a band, and of course for the whole region, because. It's very rare today to find Israelis who are popular in Turkey. And uh, there is a conflict between the countries and politics somehow finds the way to divide us all the time and finds the way to, to, to remind us why we don't love each other or why, why we have conflict. But music does the opposite thing. When we are playing on stage, some of you maybe know that, we are playing in front of Christians, Muslims, and Jews, and they are all singing with us in Hebrew, in Arabic, in English. For a few moments, there there's no enemies in the world. There, there is no problems, and this is the power of music. So I definitely hope that we will get this citizenship, this honorary from Turkey, and I will be grateful forever for Turkey if they will give it for us, and I know that I will make a great benefit out of it together with my bandmates. Okay, let's move to the next question. Okay, a friend of mine tells me here that I'm looking good. Thank you, brother. I'm doing my best. I didn't meet the hairdresser today, but if you say so, I'm counting on you. Okay. Nadwa uh, Naim. Uh, Nadwa Naim is asking me if I am married. Uh, Nadwa is from... I can't see where, where you're from. Obviously, Nadwa is from the Middle East, and Nadwa is asking me if I am married. So, Nadwa, no, I'm not married yet. Um, and it's a pity, actually, because I'm already turning 37 next week. But I will do my best. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, someone is asking me if there is a new guitarist in Orphanland after the departure of uh, Mati. Uh, the answer is for the moment, uh, no, uh, because we are working on a new album and we are barely touring at the moment, so we are not dealing with it, and we will, we will see about it in the future. Okay, let's see more questions. Okay, Ambrose Azet, I hope I, I'm pronouncing your name correctly is asking, will you ever visit Dubai if you get a Turkish passport? We've been waiting for you forever. 
I can only say inshallah because if I want to play anywhere in the world, you know, if, if, a mus if, if there is something that a musician wants, musician always wants to meet his fans, to meet his friends. And Orphan Land cannot play in some of those countries that we have fans and we want to communicate with them and we want to talk to them and we want to, you know, play for them and to sing with them. And this is such a pity that we, we cannot do that. So I can guarantee you Ahoy is that, that if we get this citizenship, I will make my best to come to Dubai, even if it is on a camel. I will do all the way over there to play for you, because this is something that I really want. I, I prefer to go to those countries before any other countries, before the United States and before Europe, because you guys have never had the chance to see us playing. So, inshallah, one day soon. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Levy is saying here, Kobe, I still got my ticket from your concert at the Tatlon from November 2006. It's in my wallet all the time. Cheers, man. I really think that uh, it's a great gesture, but uh, make sure make sure that you don't pay your shoppings with this ticket. But cool, man. It was a great show. I remember that. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, okay, Anil Basharan from Turkey is asking, do you like Turkish Rocky? Of course. Of course, my friend. I really like Yeni Rocky very much, and I drink it every time that I come to Turkey. And uh, I'm from Jaffa, and in Jaffa we used to drink a lot of Arak. And uh, Arak is made of anisette. The, the taste is very similar to Yeniraki. So, uh, sure, man. I even drank it just a few days ago when I was in uh, in uh, Turkey. Okay, another guy from Turkey, Arda Cevik, is asking, Greetings from Turkey. I missed your signing and meeting at Mephisto. When will you come back to Istanbul? Okay, so first of all, um, when will we come back to Istanbul? We have a show in Turkey in September 22nd, but it's going to be in Ankara, in, in Ankirok Festival. So uh, I definitely invite you to try and make it to Ankara and to see our show over there. It's going to be a very interesting show, and it's just going to happen in um, something like 20 days, even less than that. So we hope to see you there. Regarding Istanbul, we played in Istanbul in uh, February this year, and it was a charity concert for the victors, victims of one. I definitely hope that we will be back uh, next year to Istanbul, because, as you know, Istanbul and Turkey are our second home. So it will be very soon, I promise you that. Okay. Oli from Israel is asking, do you consider Orphanland as a progressive metal band or an oriental metal band? Well, Oli, I think that first we are an oriental metal band because we are the founders of this genre and uh, we were the first one to really combine oriental Middle Eastern elements with heavy metal in such a heavy way. Uh, but you can definitely find progressive elements in our music, but I would call us an oriental metal band. Okay, let's see more questions. Okay, Zeynep from uh, Turkey is asking, if you get the Turkish citizenship, will you move to Istanbul? Well, Zeynep, Istanbul is one of the most favorite cities for me in the whole world. Um, I think I've visited Istanbul maybe 15 times, and I've played there many times, and I have their friends who are like family to me, and I spend a lot of time there in their home. I can easily tell you that if I get a Turkish citizenship, I can spend at least 30% to 40% of my time in Istanbul. I was just there for a week, and when I got back home, I was very sad. This is one of the most beautiful cities in the whole world. And this is one of the most magical cities in the whole world. I like to get lost there, and I like the food on every corner. It's a great food. The sounds are great. I've been to the whole world. I've seen many cities in the whole world, and 
Istanbul is definitely on my top three cities. So definitely, of course, if, if I will get the Turkish citizenship, I will definitely spend much more time in Istanbul and I will probably live there also. Uh, okay. Furkan from Turkey is asking, uh, do you know Turkish language or did you ever think to learn? I really wonder why do you want to be a Turkish citizen? Okay, so first of all, I know a lot of words in Turkish. I still don't know to speak Turkish, but for example, I know Şerefe and uh, Saldan, Soldan. And I know that uh, bread is ekmek and I know that uh, Nasılsınız, which is how are you? Çok yeyim, which is great. I know, I know many words. And I'm learning all the time. Every time I'm coming to Turkey, I'm learning more because our friends is teaching us more and more and more. So I believe that once I will get to spend some months in Turkey, I will definitely get it over and I will definitely wrap it up and I will know to speak Turkish. Um, I am I'm positively sure that I already understand the logic of the Turkish language and the way that they speak Turkish because I have a friend who helped me to understand the dialect and the way they pronounce and some of the letters and things like that. Now for the second part of what you said, I really wonder why you want to be a Turkish citizen. I will explain it to you briefly. Kemal Ataturk is one of the best leaders that were in this world, to my opinion. I think that Turkey is one of the greatest countries in the world. Um, like, I, like I've said before, I really think that and wish for countries like Syria and Egypt and Lebanon and, uh, and Iran, I really wish that they will be like Turkey because we will be able to visit there and, and freedom will be there. People in Turkey are free. It's one of the only Muslim countries where people are completely free to be who they are, to listen to metal music, to be a homosexual, to be who you are. And, and I appreciate Turkey for that. Turkey has been a home. Turkey had been a home for me and for the Orphanland members for more than a decade now. We are coming to Turkey. We are always welcomed as brothers by the Turkish people. They welcome us with open arms and and this is something I appreciate so much. It doesn't matter if there is a conflict between Jews and Muslims, between Israel and Turkey. We are always welcome in Turkey. And Turkey represents some of these um, ideas and ideologies that I strongly support. And I strongly believe that if every Muslim country will embrace them, a lot of people will be more free and will be more happy. So. Let me tell you this, when, when I travel the world with, with the orphan land, I will be proud to say that I am Israeli and also Turkish. I will be proud to say that I am a musician who succeeded to be a citizen of a Jewish country and a Muslim country. Because this is what music represents for me. This is what music is all about. The fact that we are all coming together on a concert and we are singing together. And for a moment, we have no nations and we have no religion, and we have no differences whatsoever. At this moment, right there, I know that we are all one. And Turkey was one of the countries that allowed us to feel that more than anything else, because our fans from Iran, from Syria, from Lebanon, from uh, Egypt, from Dubai, are coming all the way to Istanbul, and we are meeting them over there. So. So this is, this is the only country that we are able to do that. So Turkey is dear to me and it will forever be dear to me. And I hope that I answered your question. I really think that you are a great country. And I want to say to all Turkish, çok seviyorum. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, Basel Al Halabi from Syria. Basel Al Halabi from Syria is asking, Kobe, my question is, can you do some songs for Syria? And what happening in fact? Um, well, my friend, we will be more than happy to make a song for Syria. 
but I want to ask you and all Syrian people, the people in Syria, they are the one who, who are suffering from the situation. Please find me your poets. Please find me the people who write the poems. I don't want to be the, the one writing the poem. I want one of the Syrian people who write a poem, send them over to me, and if we find something that we feel that really reflects your feeling and all the things that is going on for, uh, for you guys, I promise that we will compose this song with Orphan Land, uh, with love to all our fans and friends in Syria because we are uh, worried about you and we pray for you and we hope that better days will come to you all in Syria. We feel that you all deserve better and we feel that you deserve freedom and a happy life and a life where you can just be who you are, go to concerts, have fun, spend some time, not being afraid to get killed, not being afraid to meet with Israeli people. So, definitely, I call to all Syrians, find me your best poets and send me your songs and we will definitely make a song. Um, about the situation in Syria, and, and I want to say that we love you all. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, Jonathan Levy is asking, when are you coming to Belgium? Jonathan, um, like I said, we are recording an album probably next year, and right after that we will tour Europe, and we will definitely come to Belgium. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see what else. People here answering my, my uh, answers. Thank you very much, guys and girls. Okay. Dimit, hi, Kobe. Greetings from Jerusalem. What do you think about Pussy Riot? Uh, well, Dimit. I don't really like the music of Pussy Riot, but I was very frustrated that they, to hear that they were arrested because they were expressing their opinion as provocative as it may be. I really think that musicians should express themselves freely, and I really think that mouths should not be shut, and I was amazed to see that such a thing happened in Russia. We played in Russia, we have many friends in Russia, and I truly support them, and I hope that they will be free very soon. Okay, let's see what else. How is your relationship with Steven Wilson? Always asking. Uh, is he going to help you with the new album too? Well, Steven is a good friend of ours. Uh, the thing is that he is becoming more and more and more busy when, when the time is going and, and, and by. He's a very busy man, and, and I know that he's really busy with Porcupine Tree. He's also not having now time for Blackfield. So we're friends, we're keeping in touch, but time will tell if we will have the time to work together. I, I truly hope so. I definitely hope so. Uh, okay. Cenk from Istanbul is asking, in your interview in Istanbul, you said that you're going to do a workout with Manga. How was it? Are you planning to do something together? For those of you who don't know, Manga is a very famous uh, Turkish band. Um, the answer is yes. I, I've met with the, the Manga vocalist and with uh, the drummer. And uh, we had a great meeting and uh, we decided to work together. Probably we will begin to do it in the upcoming show in Ankara, where the both bands are going to play. Um, it's still a surprise, but I strongly call everyone uh, to come and check it out. Uh, the drummer of Manga told me that some of them used to be fans of Orphan Land back in the 90s, so it was a great meeting and I was really happy to see that Manga is doing so well in Turkey and, and we will be honored to, to play with them together. Okay, uh, Janos from Hungary and Norway. Hi, Kobe. Greetings from Hungary and Norway. Could you please describe your relationship with God? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I always used to say in our show that I am 
looking like Jesus Christ, but I am not a virgin, so I'm not Jesus Christ, but on a, on a serious matter, I am inspired by all religions, I might say. I am a big fan of Judaism, of Islam and Christianity and religions in general, but I have discovered that music is the strongest religion and I, I have discovered that if I find God in any way, I find it in good people. Today, when I look for God, I know that I can find it in the face of good people. Because sometimes it seems that religions have lost their ways and they are also dealing with dividing us and, and saying that we are the absolute way to the truth and we are the only way to God and I really don't support that. I really think that music is the best religion in the world because music unites people. Music brings bring people together. So I believe in God answering your question, but I believe in God in a very uh, interesting, original way. I believe in God and my religion is music, I would say. Hi, Sharon Ivry. אביעד, אשתך פה. אוקיי, איתי from uh, Itai Marki from Israel is asking, did you ever had any conflict with bands, uh, Muslim bands or Arab bands, uh, or, or some of them who, who didn't agree to play with you? Well, Itai, the answer is, the answer is simple. The answer is no, because because musicians, they don't have these conflicts that politicians have, or that uh, or that religions uh, uh, priests are having. Musician, musicians are just joining hands together, and they are just uniting themselves together. This is why I think that that music is the best religion in the world because we don't have any problem. We played. I will give you an example. We toured Turkey this year, and our support band was a band from Jordan, consisting Palestinians. We played in Tel Aviv, and we launched our DVD in Tel Aviv, and our support band were Arab Israelis, and some of them were Palestinians. Our crowd was clapping hands for them. There were no any conflict whatsoever. And anytime we play in Turkey, and our fans is coming from Iran or from Lebanon, we are singing in Arabic, we are singing in Turkish, we are singing in Hebrew. I'm playing with Orphan Land for 21 years. I cannot tell you even one story of a problem or a conflict that we had with, with a band or, or with musicians who are Muslims or from the Arab countries. And I'm very proud to tell you that, that we, we never had this problem, actually. Okay, let's see what are the next questions. Eli from Turkey, uh, I wish you good luck with your work. Okay, let's see more questions. Okay, yes. Uh, okay, one second, guys and girls. Yes. Okay, we are continuing, let's see.
Okay, Muhammad Chawa saying, it's the second better thing to meet you in person, and as for now, I can take that. We will meet in, in person, my friend, very soon. Uh, I want to greet all the people from Arabian country who came into the chat. Um, I see here some people from Arabian country and I want to tell you that you are free to ask me anything you want. We are brothers, salam alaikum, and I welcome you to my home, even if it's visual and, uh, and uh, even if it's on, on Skype. Okay, Turkish translation. Um, I wish I could translate it to Turkey, but we will try to do it in the future. I promise. Kardeşim. Okay, let's see what else. Okay. Um, okay, I have a question. Why did you choose to do this project, especially with Culture Buzz? Well, for those of you who don't know, Culture Buzz is a great organization in Israel that supports the artists. This organi organization understands that the contribution of artists to the country and to the nation is something bigger than any political benefit or any political agenda. And these people are working day and night promoting musicians, helping them to fly and play their concerts abroad, promoting, filming their concerts, making interviews with them. And I want to express here my biggest compliments to these people, all the people uh, who are working in this office. There are two names to mention, but the work that they are doing is holy because it's not easy to find people who really recognize the contribution of art, who really recognize the contribution of culture to, to a country and to a nation. And I think that these people are definitely aware of it. And it was their idea to make this chat and it was a great idea. And I'm happy that they did it and I will be happy to do it again. And I definitely hope that you will be able to find these groups in your countries, especially in the Middle East. Imagine that you, you could have had a culture buzz organization in Syria or in Egypt. Uh, I don't know if you guys have it in Turkey, probably you do. But um, imagine that, you know, I, I've heard that rock music is illegal in Iran. And imagine that rock music was legal in Iran and that, that Iranian people would have had an organization like Culture Buzz that would support them. It doesn't make sense that musicians should live in the underground because they love rock music. So I feel so privileged and lucky to live here, but I feel so sorry for my friends and brothers in, in the Middle East who, who are still unable to do that. And, and I hope that better days uh, will come and they will be able to play their music and have organizations like Culture Buzz. Okay, which, a question from Turkey, which band or musician in the world would you like to play together? Oh, wow. Well, my favorite musician in the world is Leonard Cohen. It's because he's a great poet and he's a gentleman and he's a great man. And uh, I really hope I'll get the chance to meet him and to talk to him. And he is my one and only idol. Of course, I'll be happy to play with Depeche Mode, with Iron Maiden, with Metallica. And, and many other of the metal bands we actually already met and played with, you know. All the metal bands in the world are, are our friends now, and, and that is great that some of the bands that I used to be their fan, now they are my friends. This is a great feeling. But, you know, when you fulfill your dream, there are always new dreams that are coming and, and uh, taking place. So I still have many more dreams, and, and I hope to make them come. Okay, what else? Um, yeah, Basel, I got your answer. And again, to all the people from Syria, 
if you find good poets that wrote great songs about the situation, please send them to me, and we'll, we will be happy to compose uh, this, uh, this song. אגב, חבר'ה, יש עוד שתייה במקרר ומים בפריזר, אם אתם שמאים. אוקיי. מוחמד שאווה is asking, I have a question, can you jam song with Trio Jubran? Well, first of all, Trio Jubran are amazing. I wish they will want to jam with us. I can definitely tell you that we will for sure jam with them if they want, because I really think that they are great. Okay, a question from Turkey by Cenk. You sang in the album of Arkan, Salam, and I liked that song very much. Have you played with any other band as that one? I would like to listen to them too. Well, I didn't do it on a recording matter, but um, when we went on a tour last year, so we were on a tour with Arkan from Algeria and with Mirab from Tunis, and we had also a Lebanese belly dancer with us on the tour bus. So on that tour, imagine that we lived on the same bus as one big happy family, and every night we used to be guests of each other. So I used to play with Mirat. I sang with them in Tunisian. If there are people from Tunisia over here, come here and ask me, ask me questions and I will tell you how I sing in Tunisian and maybe I will even show you how I sing in Tunisian. And uh, yeah, it, it was great and I'm sure that we will do collaborations like that also in the future. Uh, okay, let's see more questions. If you get your Turkish passport, which is the first country you want to visit? Well, that will be probably Turkey. But uh, seriously, I will be more than happy to visit Iran. Because in Iran, I cannot stand the situation where rock music is illegal. And I cannot accept that, that music is illegal in, in a country. So I will definitely want to go to Iran as a Turkish dude. and to, to check that situation and to meet musicians and to hear what are their feelings and how do they feel about it. Because I'm not living in such a reality. I'm living on a, on a, on a free country where I can play my music, where I can do whatever I want, where I can express myself any way I want, even if it is against the government, even if it is against the prime minister. This is freedom. And I really want to understand how much these people are suffering from the fact that they cannot express themselves. I cannot imagine a world where... where where music is illegal. You know, um, I, I know about a fan of ours from Egypt that was thrown to jail for six months. And this is Egypt, for God's sake. And the guy was thrown to jail because the music he was listening to, and he was accused with blasphemy. So this is, this is crazy. I have many friends in Egypt. I have been to Egypt, and, and I just I cannot accept it. This is just music, and people should not be thrown to jail. Because of music, and music should not be illegal, never. So I will definitely go to Iran, but I will also go to Egypt. I will go to any other uh, country in the Middle East where I cannot go now. And I will be proudly do it, and I will be grateful to Turkey that, that they allowed me to do it. So hopefully this will happen, and then you will see me visiting you all in, in your countries. Okay, another question from Turkey from Betul. Kobe, you had been in Turkey recently, and I was one of the luckiest fans who could meet, who could meet you. I want to ask, what was the most significant thing remained in your mind about Turkey and Turkish people? Well, Betul, the greatest thing I can tell you about the Turkish people is that you people are people of the heart. Everything that... will be spoken to you, first will go to your heart, then it will go to your mind, and that means that you are an open-hearted people. And I admire open-hearted people because I see myself as an open-hearted open heart, uh, man, and I admire that, the way that you are warm, your hospitality, 
the fact that you let me feel like a brother and like I am your family member. You know, I have been to Turkey many times uh, at the house of my friends and they were insisting that I will sleep on their bed and they will sleep on the floor. And anytime I try to argue about that, they they were about to be, be insulted. So, so your hospitality and your home welcoming and your heart, your food, your views, your music, your country is magical. And, and I know that maybe some, some of you don't see it all the time. I can tell you, as an outsider, Turkey is my second home, and you are magical and amazing. Okay, let's see more questions. Deal from Turkey. Thank you very much for your words, and I, I will be there for the Leonard Point concert very soon. Thanks. Okay. Okay, Jonathan is asking, Hey, Kobe, I'd like to know if you have considered recording an album regarding only the modern situation between the countries and political dumbness. Well, Jonathan, if you, if you go through our albums throughout the years, so you will definitely see that we we barely wrote songs about our personal lives. Um, there isn't any song about my ex-girlfriend or my love life or our personal life. It is always about the macro situation of our region. Even if we use a flood story, we use it with motives of the three religions and three heroes from the Middle East and from the three religions and, and from those countries. and. We always deal with that. If you go to our albums, Sahara, El Nora, Lila, Mabul, and Owario, this is always there. And, and this will probably answer your question. Just check our albums and read the lyrics carefully. Uh, okay, and Jonathan also wants to know if we considered recording a completely acoustic album using mostly ancient instruments. Well, that definitely might happen uh, in the future. Okay, Dawson Paul is asking, Shalom, what inspired you to have the name Orphanland? Well, Orphanland is basically the Holy Land, the Promised Land. Um, as we all know from the Bible, the Promised Land was promised to Moses, and uh, it was thousands of years ago, and thousands of years have passed, and this land is still full of wars, of bloodshed, of conflict and wars and this is why we were teenagers 21 years ago we were 16 years old and we saw this holy land and promised land as an orphan land and this is why we chose this name as a paraphrase to the holy land and the promised land זה לא מרפרש לי פה. אביעד, אתה פה? אתה יכול לברר עם גל? אני לא מתרפק. אה, רגע. עוד זה הסלולרי שלי. המספר הסלולרי. בנו. כן. לא יודע, אולי זה יתנצט או משהו, אני לא יודע. לא, זה מראה לי טעות של גוגל כרום. גוגל כרום לא יכול להתחבר. לנסות באקספלורר? אני אנסה באקספלורר. נעבור לאקספלורר? 
as a family are well. נראה לי שרואים ושומעים אותי, כן. אבל גם באקספורר אני לא מצליח להתחבר לזה. אבל כן, אני לא מצליח לקבל את השאלות משום מה. אבל אני לא רואה את השאלות. לא באקספורר ולא בכרום. Okay, somehow my questions have uh, disappeared from screen, so I'll have here um, a friend of mine who will read the, the questions for me. Shadar al Agar. Okay, my favorite... Who are they from where? Okay, okay, so my favorite movies would be, um, I would say, Godfather, um, Last Temptation of Christ, Quentin Tarantino uh, movies. I like very stupid Israeli movies who call Burekas movies, but most of you will not know what I mean. <laughs> uh, what else? רגע, רגע, עוד לא עניתי גם על הקטע עם ישו ששאלו אותי. אני גם הייתה שאלה... מה זה ג'יזוס, נכון, גל? כן, אני חושב שג'יזוס היה גדול אדם. הוא היה גדול ג'ו, אפשר, שהוא ניסה לעשות את זה, וניסה לעשות את זה, וניסה לעשות את הג'ודאיזם של אותו זמן, והסיום שלו היה מאוד 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 אוקיי, גל, חזרו לי השאלות, אז אני אעזוב כרגע את הטלפון. אני חושב שאין קשר בין הקשר 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 Because I really think he, he was representing great ideas and, and, and I think he was a great guy who was completely misunderstood by my own people, by the Jewish people. Okay, let's see more questions. Okay, Ori is asking, have you ever thought about doing a solo album? Um, I'm mainly focusing on Orphan Land. Orphan Land is my life project. That might happen in the future. Uh, it, it is dependent on, based on my free time. So for the moment, it's mainly Orphan Land, but the future will tell. Okay, Cezal from Turkey is asking, thank you for your answer. I have another question. Which is the Turkish football club you support? Well, that's a tough question, my friend. That's a tough question. My friends are fans of Besiktas and Fenerbahce and Galatasaray, and I'm still thinking about it. I will let you know if I get the Turkish citizenship. Okay, Yuval is asking, Hello, Kobe, can you tell us more about Orphan Land next album? Um, well, what I can tell you, Yuval, is that we are writing it these days, and uh, we are on a composing process, and it's going to be a great album. Um, we have a song composed by Yuda Polikev, who is a great uh, Israeli artist, for those of you who don't know. And uh, we are also composing some great, great, great song, songs. And I can tell you for sure that we will do songs, of course, in Hebrew, in English, in Arabic, and in Turkish. This is all going to be there, probably, in the album. But time will tell, and that is all I can say for now. <laughs> Yener from Turkey is saying, hi, Jesus. <laughs> well, that's not me, buddy. But anyway, hello, my friend. Merhaba.
If you are willing to move to Turkey, what city would you prefer to reside? Well, it would be definitely Istanbul. Um, another question from Turkey. Erkin Koray or Ebrahim Tatlises? Choose one. Definitely Erkin Koray. Without any question, Erkin Koray is the father of rock and he is a great person and the personality always uh, is important for me. And Erkin Koray is my dear friend and I admire him and I'm a fan of Erkin Baba. So Erkin Koray for sure. Uh, okay, another question. If you had the power, what would you change in today's world, politics, and human behavior? That's a very interesting question. One of the best one probably I've had today. Well, I would, I would tell you this. I think that the most important thing in our life is education. And I change the whole education system in the world. I will create a situation and an education formula where human life is the most sacred thing at the planet of the earth. It's more important than history lessons, mathematic lessons, or whatever lessons. Those are important. I don't come to disrespect, but I will add to all the schools all over the world, I will put in the minds of students that you cannot educate yourself to kill, that you are not uh, killing is something that is out of the question, like, for example, you cannot imagine yourself having sexual relationship with your brother or sister or parents. This is totally unaccepted. I want human life to be so sacred that killing will be unaccepted, period. When we will have conflicts and conflicts will be there, we will know that dialogue is the way, we will know that listening to each other is the way, we will know that we have no other choice because killing is completely forbidden by God. So this is one thing I would definitely change in the world if I had the power to do that. But this is still utopia and my dreams, but to answer your question, that is what I would do. Let's see more questions. Okay, how is the orphan land composition process? Who do it? It's a question by Israel Remora Aguiar from Brazil. Um, well, our composition is very complex. Uh, we never write songs. We compile riffs and we take them together and we throw them to the table and we start to build it like a puzzle. So if you, if you listen to our songs, if you listen to the song Birth of the Free, for example, it starts on a riff, continue on a second riff, then goes to the third riff, fourth, fifth, sixth. It looks like a puzzle of pieces and it never repeats itself. So it's a very difficult writing process, but the result is very interesting and, and very original. So I really think that this is one of the reasons why we are so unique and, and have such great music that succeeded to reach uh, many people. Okay, what about people from Egypt or Tunisia? Are you with me? Ask me something. Okay, let's see. When is the new song with you, the Polycare, is coming out? Ori is asking uh, from Ramat Nishai. Ori, it will come out probably with our next album, probably sometime next year. We are still working on it. Um, it's really exciting and amazing, and uh, probably next year. Um, Nevo is having here a picture with our albums and asking me, what is your favorite Orphan Land album? Well, Nevo, that will be like asking me who, who is my, my favorite kid. It will be like asking a parent who is his favorite kid. It's very hard for me to tell because there are days where Sahara is my favorite, where El Nola Alila is my favorite, where Owolio or Mabul are my favorite. It's very hard for me to answer that question. I don't think that I have a, a precise answer for that. So. You can tell me what is your favorite, and I'll appreciate but I'm sorry, I cannot give you a strict answer. Okay, people are asking what's going to be on Festival of Youth. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Festival of Youth is, is a festival we are going to play in Jerusalem. Next week, there is an Orphan Land show in Jerusalem on a festival in the Zappa Club. It's going to be a normal electric 
metallic orphan line show, but we are, it's going to be with guests on stage. We are going to have a canoe player on stage, buzuki, percussions, flutes, Yemenite singers. It's going to be a very, very, very one-time special gig. So everyone in Israel, don't miss that show, and you are very much invited to check it. It will be a show to remember. I can promise you that. Okay, let's wait for more questions to come. Okay, Nicholas is asking, have your tattoos a spiritual, religious signification? Um, well, yeah, I can say so. Um, if you can see this tattoo of mine over here, where it's written in Hebrew, so it says, put me as a seal upon thy arm. And, and that means, th this is taken from uh, the Song of Songs, and... Uh, it means that if you love God so much, put me as a seal upon thy arm. For me, as a metal fan, of course, the way to put this on my arm is to make a tattoo. So this is basically from the Bible book. Um, this tattoo over here, I'll show it to you. I, I call this dude Moses because I really think that this is Moses for me. And Moses was promised with the, orphan, uh, the promised land in the Holy Land. God promised Moses, Musa, the orphan land. And this is for me Moses with orphan land written, uh, written on his forehead. So this is the paradox and the irony that, that I have started the band with my bandmates because of that. Um, I have here a tattoo where, hold on, let me try and show it to you. This is a tattoo where my family name is written in both Arabic and Hebrew and it is taken, this is an interesting story for the fans from Syria, it's taken from the Jewish brain book that was translated to Hebrew and Arabic because the Jews in Halab in Syria, they started to lose connection with Hebrew, so in order to make it easy for them, a guy who name, his name was Farh Farhi, like mine, he translated the brain book into Arabic. So. The book has one page in Hebrew, one page in Arabic, and this is so me, you know, this is so orphan land. So I made it, I made this tattoo as a love present for my family. And this is as far as religious uh, significance comes from. The others are just H.R. Geiger tattoo and heavy metal, kind of very heavy stuff, you know, and things like that. Okay, Tolga is asking, will you come to will you come to Eskishir? Well, we will definitely come back uh, in the future to play in Eskishir. Of course, we had a great show in February this year, and we will definitely be back. Um, Memo is asking, Mexicans are invited to the festival in Israel? Of course. If you are in Israel, this is in Jerusalem at September 11. Make sure to be there, and we will also meet you and sign and, and take photos with you. So please come. Okay, Betul. Betul, thank you very much for your words. Thank you. Okay, Jonathan is asking, who is the guy who joins you in Nova El Nova at the road to Orshalem? Well, this is, of course, Yossi's father, David, who is a great inspiration for us and was a teacher about Jewish poetry and about synagogue songs, and he was there on stage with us, a great man and a great singer. Um, okay. Okay. Two questions. What do you think about Frank Zappa? Well, I think he was a genius and a fucking lunatic. 
<laughs> that's what he was actually, and a great, great genius and a great musician, great personality as well. Can you give me names of good trance artists? Well, the trance music I used to listen to are mainly artists from the 90s who made Goa trance back then, like Men With No Name, Chakra, um, Simon Bosford. These are the old school trance music. I'm not a big fan of trance music, actually, but those are the ones I really like. Third question is, what is your relationship with prog rock? Well, I like prog rock. We are using prog rock elements. Um, the best band of prog rock is actually a band from, from our days, which is, of course, Fork Pine Tree. But I honestly love bands like Jet Tool and uh, King Crimson, and, and I think that prog rock is, is a great style of music. Okay. Okay, I'm going to answer now the last question, because our time is up. So let's see what is the last question. Okay, I have here an interesting question. Have you ever heard about Boogie Balagan? One of the members is from Israel and the other one is from Palestine. Sometimes their music reminds me of your music. What do you think about playing with them? Well, I've heard about them and I've heard some of their songs and it's great. And I think that when you see Israelis and Palestinians cooperating together, this is a great thing. You know, I think that if there are people who are really similar to us, these would be Palestinians. So definitely I see myself working with them and if you are in touch with them, tell them to contact me and definitely we should do something uh, together. Of course, they are great. Okay. I think that our time is up. So I want to thank you all for joining me today and I really hope to meet you all in person in our concerts, whether if it is in Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, in Turkey, Istanbul, Ankara, or inshallah, Alevai, if I will be able to make it to Syria, to Jordan, to Lebanon, to Egypt, to Tunisia, to Algeria. I wish to meet all of you and to play for all of you and you and, and me, you and us, we know, we know that music is the greatest power of the universe, so keep on spreading the word and, and keep on having a big faith in this very troubled world and keep, keep yourself safe. Make sure that you always have good music with you because I strongly believe that music will protect you more than any book or priest or, or uh, I don't know, or a necklace. I really think that music is the greatest cure to this world. So keep on carrying that message. And thank you again for joining me today. I love you all very much and I will meet you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.